purchase order, inbound delivery, then inbound delivery distributed EWM, then we do all inbound everything. Okay, this is what I'm trying to do. That. Okay, first is of creating purchase order, ME twenty one N. That's what I mentioned anyway. But this is just a demo, so don't worry about that. We need, as I said, we need a vendor. Okay. Uh, you try to put it in a, my purchasing department and uh, the groups. These are all uh, SAP uh, ERP side uh, there are structure we need, organized structure. So I have created already several materials. These are the two products I created. I may create a 15 quantity and 20 quantity. And you are receiving a different products. Each are different products. Maybe you can, you can assume yourself. Maybe it's a diet and co Pepsi or something like that whatever you want, you know, just try to understand that the different products are coming, you're receiving now, okay, That's the pride and uh, currency, okay, who is going to raise this purchase order is a purchasing guy and uh, where you are going to receive it, you need to tell them, right, you need to, you, when you are raising a purchase order means you are trying to get a, some, some product from a from, um, raw material from the vendor, so you are that's what you supplier that's called vendor is vendor details and is a purchasing department and where you need to receive it which plant you are going to receive it and which storage locations you are going to receive it remember this storage location is the ewm managed storage location okay this is called i put as a 800d is a receiving on dock that means anything you know before final put away that entire location is called receiving on dock Okay, that means when you unload it, even staging area, deconsolidation area, everything, even, until you can call it a, that entire storage location as a receiving on dock. Then I will map entire area into one storage location. Just I will enter it and see that. This is a MM side, okay. Uh, don't worry much about this. Yeah, is, these are the warnings, so don't worry. I'm going to create the purchase order. Okay. So purchase order 753 is created. Then I'm going to create an inbound delivery, VL31N. Okay. In real time, how you are going to create inbound delivery? The supplier is going to send an advanced shipping, shipment notification. Okay. As soon as you receive the advanced shipping notification, they create a, a shipping department inbound side. They create an inbound delivery. So you know the purchasing is created. Department is creating purchase order based on the advanced shipping not notification. So somebody will create an inbound delivery. There are different business users, they create a deliveries. Whether creating a delivery is a batch batch or manual, it so depends on the business requirement. Sometimes they may create individual one, sometimes they may create all you know batch, maybe six hours, sometimes they will run it single transaction. Okay. So I am going to put as a demo as a one now. Okay, just I put a TU complex inbound. This is a just, a, this externality is called shipping notification. This is the ASN is important for the, um, when you receive the goods, they will use ASN only, okay? To create, to attach the TU or anything, okay? So is, ASN is a very, very uh, important significance. We, we will study in while moving further next, okay? So this is the delivery it looks like saying that what are the quantity you have seen and uh, what is the item categories and the uh, shipment, okay? And the uh, gross weight and the volume and what are the products, what is unload, where is going to unload it, uh, stock placement. See, as I said, you're receiving a plant and the receiving and dock, 800D, it's AWM managed, okay? And uh, sometimes you may receive directly raw material without packing, sometime with packing. I'm going to pack it here. There is option we have. We can assume that if you if are receiving the packing, uh, packing from the vendor. So generally this packing material, no, they you can call it a generic material because you don't know what kind of packing material you are receiving from the vendor. So as generic, in a general, no, we can call it a generic packing material here. Okay. So you pack these products into single handling unit. See, is handling unit is already created. This is a S4 side handling unit. So this is the number. Oh, sorry. I didn't select this. You, you select this one, two products, then there is a pack option. You can always pack the product. That means 
you are receiving the packing material see here in the in the in the bottom line you can see that delivery is a inbound delivery are saved and distributed to the wm system that is called ewm system here that means if how is the system is distributing here if you have not maintained integration as as we discussed system integration if you have not done the system integration the flow may not possible so here play major role how the distributing delivery from s4 system to ewm so system integration will play major role